Hey friends, uh, this is Nirmal from NirmalTV.com. Today we'll have a quick review of uh, a new Instagram client for Windows Phone 8 devices and it's called InPic. So we all know that uh, Instagram does not have an official app on uh, Windows Phone 8 devices. So we have third party clients like SixTag, Instance, Instagraph and uh, in to, insta to instance uh, with Massive Love etc etc. So we ha now have a new client uh, which is called InPic. So InPic developers has already released an in, uh, Instagram app for Windows 8 uh, tablets and uh, desktop. So we had reviewed that uh, on our blog. So now we'll have a look at uh, the Windows Phone 8 client. So I have right now pinned the InPic in, uh, in app on my start screen. So let's open it and uh, see what are the features InPic offers for Instagram users on uh, Windows Phone 8 devices. So let's open it. So you can see it has an option to sign in. Right now I have already signed into my account. So it will directly show me my timeline. Uh, in case you, you are just f uh, first using it, you will be asked to uh, sign in with your Instagram account uh, to start using it. So we couldn't find any option to uh, create a new account as of now, but uh, it has an option to, uh, I mean, uh, log in with your existing account. So it has uh, option to find friends, edit profile, sign out, uh, settings, uh, and then few other options. So, so we'll see all, all those features. So uh, th there are a few tabs uh, on the top. You can see first is the timeline. You can see the beautiful timeline. The interface is uh, pretty slick and it does not have any issues uh, with uh, uh, performance it's really good and uh, the performance is pretty smooth so no issues in that front now you have uh, when you if you swipe to the side you have the popular photos again popular photos uh, follows the same uh, uh, UI as that of uh, timeline then you have the profile you can see your profile you can see your followers or uh, your following count then you can make your account private uh, you have the links you have the photos etc so very beautiful interface uh, you have this uh, options at the bottom then you can see the activity on your account that means your notifications uh, then again back to timeline so there are four tabs a timeline uh, popular photos your profile and your activities I mean your notifications so when you select a photo uh, you have the detailed uh, view of the photo you can like the photo you can comment on the photo and you can see the comments available on the photo then you can share the photo email the photo download the photo as well as uh, uh, delete the photo that is probably in case it's your photo then you have this option slide if you slide here yeah when you slide here you go to the next photos so this is probably another view another way you can view your timeline so this again a handy feature instead of having to scroll down you can just uh, slide and uh, view the photos so another handy feature uh, then at the bottom you have this option to uh, email and uh, share the photo so now let's uh, go back and um, see let me just open this photo and see the share options so it uses the default um, uh, sharing options on uh, Windows Phone instead of the inbuilt app option. So in case you have uh, apps installed, you can uh, you can use that uh, to share the photos. So right now you can post to friend, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. So you can use this to share the photos. Uh, then you have the option to email the photos. You can use your inbuilt email accounts to share the photo. Then you have the option to download the photo. The post is saved successfully. Okay, that's all in this uh, then uh, let's go back and see the settings so you, you have the option to find friends so you can search for friends you can search uh, if the app suggests uh, your friends then your you can connect to Facebook and see your Facebook friends on Instagram you can connect to address book and see the uh, friends you are, who are on uh, Instagram then apart from this you have the option to edit your profile so you can uh, change your uh, password or profile details etc etc then uh, probably you have the other settings so settings under settings you're signed in uh, about the privacy policy so that's all nothing much on uh, nothing much of the settings then uh, there's one handy feature yeah, you have a button uh, uh, here on the top when you click it it will go to the first post 
so that is uh, pretty handy so in case you are scrolled down uh, quite a lot then you can just hit this button and then come to the first photo once again so overall a pretty handy app it does have uh, good features and uh, you can uh, you can post you can comment on your photo comment the photos you can like the photos and as well as upload the photos so now let's see how you upload the photos so uh, let's go to the option so we have two options one is to use the camera another use the file browser uh, to upload the photo so let's uh, just uh, uh, snap a picture I have the Mi 800 here with me so now let's uh, take a photo so you have this option at the bottom uh, you have what auto flash you can switch to front camera and you can have the grids so that's handy uh, then you have uh, certain options at the top you can see you can set the um, uh, scene I mean the beach uh, sunset night mode uh, food uh, and cloudy I mean what uh, you can set it to auto in case you don't want to set the feature independently so now let's uh, shoot a picture of this okay now once you're shot the picture you can uh, you can delete it or you can go to the next option so let's uh, go to the next option so now we have the filters uh, so there are quite a lot of filters uh, available at the bottom but they are not the official ones from Instagram uh, so we have uh, say something like Lomo, Moonlight, uh, Sunshine, 1967, Negative, Sketch, Grayscale, Cartoon etc so so you can turn uh, your photos into uh, different uh, modes you can uh, you can uh, apply filters so these uh, filters are not the best but uh, still you get uh, uh, some option to up up add filters so, so that's handy probably will have we'll see more filters uh, coming in the next version so but uh, as of now you have few filters only some 10 uh, 7 or 8 of them but even that is uh, pretty okay then once you're selected you just uh, change tab to upload then you have the option to add a caption you can add people or you can add your location uh, then you, once you are done you can you can also add um, uh, hashtags uh, then you can mention people then you have the option to upload so once um, once you are done with that you can just hit the upload button so it will sh show you that uh, it's uploading the photo so let's see once uh, how long it takes to upload I'm not sure what mechanism this app uses uh, we are not sure whether it's using the direct API or it's uploading to intermediate server and then uh, uploading so it's pretty quick you can see the photo posted successfully then you can see on your timeline the new the photo posted so pretty quick it's not um, there's no delay in uploading the photos so it's pretty quick and handy so that's uh, good very good from uh, Windows phone user point of view but there is no option to upload videos as of now but you can play videos say, you can say right now I selected a video so you can uh, play the videos uh, but there is no option to uh, upload videos as of now so but we expect this uh, app to feature video uploads uh, pretty soon uh, going by the developers uh, right now we have six tag which has an option to upload videos so we might see this uh, up video upload in future updates so uh, so that's all from uh, video upload I mean uh, photo upload then uh, then the other options include uh, so we are seeing this uh, popular activities uh, friends followings etc so that's all in this uh, app so it, it's a pretty decent app uh, for Windows Phone 8 users although it doesn't match up with the six tag on features because six tag has a video upload but it's still a pretty handy app to have on your uh, windows phone users and the good thing about this app is it's completely free of cost there are no ads in this there are no in-app purchases it's completely free of cost and the developer has said that uh, it won't feature ads also so you can download it from the windows store and the windows phone store and then install it on your um, windows phone 8 devices and then try it out uh, to upload photos to Instagram so that's all guys so in case you have any questions or feedbacks or comments on this app uh, just post it on the comment section and we'll be glad to help you out so that's all guys so thanks for watching the video
Thank you.